Hello everyone, I am Chayan Vinayak Goswami and welcome to Maya Python video series. In this video, we would go through some of the object-oriented programming concepts which we would need for this video series. And we will also go through some of the terms which might be confusing if we don't understand them at this point. However, there is no formal prerequisite for this video series, but I expect that you have a little bit knowledge of Python and you have used Mel in Maya before. So let's get started and we would first start with some of the object-oriented concepts. Object-oriented programming. There can be many, many definitions and many, many explanation of object-oriented programming. But here we will think about it from artist's point of view and from the point of view of what we are going to do in, in this video series. So in simple words, object-oriented programming is an extension of modular approach of programming. If we take a look at the evolution of the programming languages, object-oriented programming evolved from modular approach of programming. And because modular approach was not very extendable, and by adding the properties like inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism, and abstraction. Object-oriented programming got the capability of extension. We don't have to worry about these terms right now. We would understand some of those terms later on in this video series. So the first term we are going to understand here is class. By definition, class is a blueprint of what you want to create as a collection of data. And to describe it in an artistic way, I would give you an example. Suppose you are an urban planner. And you have been given a task to plan a large area of the city. And, and in that area, you have to construct or build a lot of apartments. So the first step you would do is you would create a blueprint of the similar type of apartments you want to build. So you, if you want to create a two bedroom apartment, you would create the blueprint and it would have kitchen and bath So if you have come up with this blueprint and then you built the houses based on this blueprint. In this case, this blueprint is your class. And as we saw in the definition of the class, it's a blueprint of a collection of the data and your description of the rooms and their sizes is the collection of data. So one room, two room, bathroom, kitchen. So that is the collection of data. And your houses are the concrete form of your blueprint. And in an object-oriented world, this concrete form, which is also called as instantiation of the class, is called as object. 
So object is the co collection of the data based on structure of the class which is also called as instantiation of the class. So we would also use the term instances or instance for object because it's an instantiation of the class. So we understood two terms here, class, object. And what is module? Module is the collection of classes. And in our example, if we are planning a bigger part of the city, we can construct different type of apartments in that city area. We can construct two room apartment. We can construct four room apartment. And we can also construct three room apartment. So the collection of these blueprint is called as module. So the collection of classes is module. In this video series, we will be using one module a lot, which is called as Open Maya. It's a Maya Python module. This module is a collection of sets of two different type of classes. function set and they would be denoted by MFN and proxy which would be denoted by MPX. So the complete Open Maya module is a set of two types of different set of classes which is function set and proxy. We don't have to worry about these two terms right now or these three terms right now. We would take a deeper look on all these terms later in this video series. Now we will take a look at one of the most famous object oriented principle which is inheritance. Inheritance is the ability to extend already or pre-existing class and we call it inheritance is because it inherits the properties of existing class. For example, in the city planning, you have a blueprint of a two bedroom apartment. And if you want to extend it for three bedroom, you can first use this blueprint as it is. And then you can extend this blueprint just by adding one more room in it. In other words, you have inherited the properties of two room to three room and then you extended it by adding one more room. In Python, when we would declare the classes and we would use the inheritance concept, we would use it in this syntax. And in this example, three room class is called as derived class because three room class is derived from two rooms or two room class and two room class is called as base class. In this way, three room class would have all the properties of two room class and then we can add more data to three room. 
Now we would take a look at the term object from different perspectives. And if we don't understand those perspectives, this term can be confusing for the later videos. So first we would take a look at the term object from the real world's perspective. So the object is something which is tangible. which you can feel. From programming point of view, object object is a collection of data. In Maya, anything that you can see in the viewport is object. Now don't say that if we hide something, in that case the general attribute of that object is to be visible. That's why it's say object. In Maya API, we will use a term M object. And this M object term is different from all these terms which we have just seen. And in Maya API, M object is a handle to access all Maya internal modeling animation rendering objects. Generally, we will use a term object in Maya for modeling objects. So this is the differentiation or this is the look at the term object from different perspectives. So here I will wrap up the video on basics of object oriented programming, which we would need for later videos. And in the next videos, we would take a look at some of the terms of OpenMaya or Maya Python API. Thank you.